Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play Cloud Playing Offline on your computer. Uh, we're going to be using a server emulator called Houdini in order to play the game localhost uh, on Windows and yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to be needing for this tutorial is something called WSL. So I am going to be li living here in the description uh, two links about WSL. WSL means Windows Subsystem for Linux. And what this is, is a way to run Linux inside Windows, because we're actually going to be using Windows in order to, uh, sorry, we're actually going to be using Linux in order to be able to run uh, this server on Windows. So installing WSL should be a straightforward process. You want to install specifically the Ubuntu, uh, if you, especially if you're a new user and you're not very familiar with Linux, you should just go ahead and install uh, Ubuntu. I'm going to leave two guides here on the description because I'm not going to go through this process because it's, um, it's, it's, there's already a lot of guides on the internet. So you just need to uh, install WSL. I'm going to leave this, this link here on the description for, it's the guide from Microsoft. And then this video here is a step-by-step -step guide uh, that I found. Um, it should be uh, and show you how to get Ubuntu. Uh, if this if this guide here feels a bit too advanced, you can just use this one. It should be pretty uh, pretty for dummies. Um, yeah, so that's the first thing. Uh, so the first thing you should do is you get WSL Ubuntu preferably. After you have downloaded, uh, uh, after you have enabled WSL on Windows, I should say. Uh, you can go ahead on the search bar and just type WSL and it's going to open uh, the command prompt for WSL. Just wait a bit for it to load. So yeah, there you go. So in the WSL window here, so what the WSL is, it is basically, you know, a, a Linux inside your, it's a Linux uh, command prompt inside your Windows. Uh, so the first thing you want, uh, we're going to, what are we going to be doing now? We're going to be installing the software we're going to be using to set up the server. Uh, and for that, I recommend you to go to your home directory of, uh, on your WSL. Uh, so if you type PW, uh, PWD on uh, Linux, you can see what directory you are in currently. I am in the home and then my username, this is probably where you want to install it if you don't know what you're doing. So I recommend you just go here. Uh, if you don't know how to, uh, how to come here, you can just, uh, it should it should sh uh, show here as long as you open WSL on the command prompt, or you can also type uh, CD and then distilled it, and that's gonna make you go to the home directory. So that's just so you, uh, that's just where we are going to install this. Obviously you don't need to do this, but I recommend doing this if you're unexperienced. And then what we're going to be doing next, we're going to be downloading this program called uh, WEND. Uh, but we're not going to just download it and stuff. Uh, what we're going to be using, we're going to be running this command here. Uh, if you scroll down here, there's this installation script. Uh, it's this pretty big command here. All you need to do here, I'm going to leave this link in the description. Just uh, open this, copy this command, paste it in here, and press enter. And it's going to start installing. So it's going to ask a, a few questions. Uh, it's going to ask for the password for the database. You just leave it empty. You don't, uh, it's going to generate some random password. You need to worry about that. Uh, the next thing it's going to ask for the host name. You can just leave it empty. Just press enter. Uh, you should leave it empty actually, because that's going to make it local host. Uh, we want to host this on our computer. So you should make it local host plus enter. And then it's going to ask for an IP address. Again, we should host it on our machine. So we leave it empty and it's going to make it local, ho uh, local host. And then it's going to ask, do you want to run the game when the installation ends? I recommend pressing yes, but also I'm going to press no because I'm going to type no because I want to show you how to actually run the game after it's installed because every time you reset your computer or whatever, you're going to have to uh, open it again. So just to, for the educational purposes, I'm going to uh, press no so I can show it at the end. So that's going to run that. And uh, it's going to ask for your pseudo password. Uh, sudo password is what you set up while you were installing WSL. So uh, if you forgot what that is, then you should go back uh, to your WSL installation and uh, review what your password is. But I'm just going to go ahead and type my password here. And then it's going to start uh, installing. Um, as you, I'll, if, you, as you, uh, if you've never used Linux, uh, when I was typing the password, it's blank. It doesn't show you. That's normal. It's, 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 you are still typing the password even if it doesn't display. Okay, that's just for security reasons. And then uh, it's going to show this message here. It looks like an error. It's not really an error. It's just a, 
uh, it's just a weird warning that it gives like, oh, you should uh, download this other thing, but we're going to ignore this. Uh, just wait 20 seconds and it's going to fix all. It's just going to, uh, we don't need to worry about that. So this installation here is going to take a while. All right. So you should just leave this in the background while you go do something else. It's going to start doing a lot of things. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to, you know, do something else and uh, it's going to download about 10 gigabytes of stuff. So it's going to take a while. Uh, you, you need to make sure you have at least 10 gigabytes of free space. Um, so after you finish downloading all of that, um, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and pause and then I'll come back after it's done. After you have downloaded the game, it will take quite a bit of time to download everything. But after you download the game, uh, as you can see, uh, it even says the command that you should run. But uh, first, I would like to explain, uh, in case you don't know what this command does, uh, it's, a, it's actually very simple. Uh, since we're running this on a Linux machine, uh, the Linux, the WSL part of Windows has its own folders. So uh, what we need to do is because we, when we run the command that we just did, we install uh, WAND, which is this program we installed into the folder called WAND. So uh, I'm, if you open WSL and you go to the home directory, uh, and you you'll see if you type uh, ls, you'll see the com uh, you'll see the folder one. Uh, what do you want to do now? You just want to go into the folder one. For that, you need cd one, which is change directory, and then you're gonna be inside one folder. And here in the one folder, you can go ahead and run the command that will actually start the game, which is sudo docker uh, uh, compose up, and it will start uh, running all the servers. Uh, the first time that you that you run this command, it will take a little bit more time because it's still gonna download some extra stuff. Uh, but after the first time, it goes much much faster because you don't have to download everything. Uh, and this is gonna be uh, running the service. After you have the servers ready, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna be able to play the game. Now, because Cloud Penguin uses Flash Player to run the files. And Flash Player after 2021 is no longer supported by more modern browsers. Uh, you actually need to download some extra stuff in order to be able to play it. Uh, luckily, there is this video here uh, that I will be linking in the description. Uh, it lists very well what you have to do in order to get Flash Player running. Basically, you're going to download a version of uh, uh, a version of Google Chrome, which is called Ungoogled Chromium. And it's gonna be a specific old version that you're gonna run. So uh, you just download that version of uh, Chromium, and then you will need to download a version of Flash that works. So you have to install us. Uh, you can install Pepper Flash. Uh, for some reason, if Pepper Flash doesn't work, I, you can also come here and download an older version of Flash Player. Uh, you, you can download this version 36.0.0.363. And then you can just come here and download this version specifically, wimpap.exe. And after you have downloaded, I'm not going to show the process, but it's pretty straightforward. You just download, uh, you just download the programs, and they will be ready to use. And after this, you will just go here and you will go for Chromium. You will go ahead and open Chromium is the browser that we're going to be using for this. Now I will just wait for this process here and then I'll show you the next part after this whole thing is downloading. All right, so after the server is actually running, you can go ahead and Chromium. And the first thing that you can do is, first of all, there are two uh, websites that are available. Uh, you can play the modern version of Club Penguin, uh, which is from like post 2013. This one's based around the 2016, 2017 version. For that, you can go on play.localhost on your browser, and it's going to open this um, page right here. And the other page that you can actually do is old.localhost. And when you get here, you will get to the old version. Uh, this is a based in the around 2011 version of Cloud Penguin. Uh, so once you go here, uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make a penguin because otherwise you can't really play. So you're gonna have to go ahead and make a penguin. Uh, you should go to this link over here to make the penguin, uh, or you can also do it in here. Uh, just go ahead and name myself tutorial because that's what I am a tutorial. 
Uh, I'll just name myself a very strong password. You can name any email you want here. Uh, it's not really gonna be useful. And the penguin is created. So to log in, uh, you're gonna need to enable Flash Player. Uh, in order to enable Flash Player, you have to click in here and enable Flash. Now, if it doesn't show up here, you're gonna have to go on the site uh, settings and look for Flash and you're gonna need to enable it. Uh, so you just gotta click enable it and it's gonna show a prompt and then refresh and then you enable it. And then Flash Player is gonna be running. And then you can go ahead and log in with the account that you have created. So let's go ahead and do that. And that is gonna be, uh, we're in Club Penguin. Like I said, this is the modern Club Penguin. There's this tutorial that shows up. Uh, you can also go on the old version of Club Penguin. You have to do the same thing, enable Flash Player, and then you're gonna have to, you're gonna be able to go in here and and there you go you have the old version of club penguin as well available if you want to play this instead of the modern version so that yeah that's how you play club penguin everything is already set up you can do whatever you want you can go play mini games you can get stamps um you can you can go to your igloo whatever now uh there's uh, there's a lot more you can mess around with it depending on what you want to do but I also want to show at the end of this tutorial how to edit edit the penguins that you create through the database because you can see that I have the p102 name and the classic uh, unverified names you can do you can change all of that and more with the database so to do that I recommend using uh, this program that I'm going to be linking it in the description which is called Haiti SQL SQL or SQL uh, and after you download, I'm not going to show how to download. It's pretty straightforward. You can go ahead here and SQL and Haiti SQL, and you want to um, add a new program in here. And in here, you're going to want to come in here and make sure you're in the settings uh, tab. You go on network type, then you go Postgres SQL TCP slash IP. Uh, you go on the library, you do libpq-10.dll. Host name, you can leave 127.0.0.1, uh, which is the local host. Uh, user, you leave Postgres. Uh, for the password, what you actually want to, you want to do is you want to come here into your uh, your server, and you actually want to look at the password. So I'm going to shut down the server here. You can do that with Ctrl C if you ever want to do that. It will stop the server. Uh, you need to come here and you need to go into the uh, the file called uh, .env, which doesn't actually show up here, but if you go do nano .env, you can actually look at it, and it's gonna show here the Postgres password. That's the password for the uh, for the database. So you would just go ahead and do uh, copy. So you can come here, and then you can go ahead and Ctrl C it. Uh, some the uh, if if you're on WSL, Ctrl C works sometimes. If, depending on what terminal you're using, it's not going to work. But uh, anyways, so you just copy the password and then you just copy, uh, leave this the same, and then you can write the database is also called Postgres. And then you just go ahead and, uh, of course, uh, the server needs to be on. So let me go back. Let's go, let's run sudo.composer up so we can start the, the, the server. And then we can go ahead and connect. Uh, you can go ahead and save so you don't need to do. and here we have the database you can go here and public and you can there's a lot of things you can mess with here i'm just going to show you you can go here in penguin you go on data and it shows all the penguins that are already created you can see all the mascots are here uh, mascots you can use a mascot uh you can go ahead and here uh, active is like if the account if you can use the account or not so you can go ahead and make let's make sensei available so I go ahead and change this to true, and now Sensei, is, you can log in. Uh, Sensei's pa the master passwords, all of them have the same password, and it's just password. Uh, and then I can go here in the tutorial account. I'm gonna make, uh, I can make myself a moderator if I want. That doesn't really change much, but I can do that if I want. I can give myself a million coins, cause why not? Maybe that's even 10 million, why not? And then I can just go ahead and, yeah. 
in my and I can go ahead and verify my name as well. It's somewhere around here. Approval English. So you can go ahead and approve the language for English servers. And there you go. So now if we log in again uh, with tutorial. Uh, if it doesn't save, just like click around here. Um, it will auto save pretty much. You don't need to worry much about it. And bam, I have 10 million coins. Uh, this is the mo this shows up on your moderator. Now I can go ahead and buy whatever I want. Let's <laughs> just buy some stuff. Sure, let's buy this peach color. A very good use of my 10 million coins. And of course, I can also go to Sensei. Like I s just activated the Sensei account. And now I am Sensei. Although I don't really. Oh, there you go. Well, I guess that works. So yeah, I am now Sensei. So yeah, that is everything that I have to show in this video. This is a pretty, uh, pretty cool application. Um, if you want to do more stuff with uh, with this and you don't know where to start, you can go ahead and visit uh, the, the communities on Discord where we, we do mods and whatever, we mess around with the stuff. You can enter the Solero Discord, which is, uh, Solero is the team that works on the on this emulator. I'll leave that on the description as well if you want to go in there. Um, and you can also enter the Club Penguin speedrunning server where we do speedruns and we use this a lot because it's very useful for speedruns. So we also have a good knowledge of how that works. And yeah, that's all I have for this video. And yeah, enjoy.